Hi, Naptime friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be doing a spiral dip with acrylics and this is inspired by Fiona Art. If you guys haven't checked out Fiona's channel, be sure to check her out. She does the most amazing spiral dips and flower dips. She makes the most beautiful paintings, so be sure to check her out. I love watching her videos. So today I'm using my Primal Flow pre-mixed paint. That was the Glam Red. I just went in you know, poured a little spiral straight from the bottle. Really simple and easy. And I'm doing uh, the titanium white as well. And this is the ink and gold. It's a really, really awesome gold. It's so beautiful. You'll be able to see at the end of the video how beautiful that gold is. I'm just going in with a little bit more glam red and my base that I had down is just Artist Love Flow Acrylic, one part paint, two parts Floetrol. Now we are ready to dip. So I'm going to be dipping this 12 by 12 canvas. It was an acrylic pour I'd made a while back. I just wasn't happy with it. So I decided to re-pour it. And I'm just taking my hand and pressing from the middle out. See how the paint is kind of gushing out of the side right there? That is what I wanted to see. So I could tell, you know, that the front is going to be nice and covered. I wasn't going to have any bare spots. And then you just lift up and check it out. Look at how pretty it is. I love how it turned out. I kind of pressed too hard because the petals got a little bit elongated, but that's okay. And look at how pretty the uh, paint is down below where I dipped. It's just beautiful too. I was just going in there with my finger and dipping it in some of the black paint to touch up the edges. Now I'm going to take some coasters and dip those too, just because I didn't want to waste any of that beautiful paint. Touch up the edges with my finger again. The coasters turned out really nice too. And if you guys want to try the uh, Primal Flow paints, I will link them down below. They're really, really nice paints. They're pre-mixed and ready to pour. And um, I have a discount code for you too. It's code NAPTIME in all caps. And that will give you a discount. So I'm going to let these guys dry for about 10 days and then we will give them a resin top coat. So here we are, it's about 10 days later. I'm gonna use my KS resin. I mix that up off camera. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio. You pour your part B into your measuring cup and then you pour your part A into a measuring cup. Mix it up for four minutes and then you're ready to use it. And if you wanna see a video on exactly how to mix up your resin and all that good stuff, I will link that down below. I just poured about three ounces of resin on this 12 by 12 canvas here. Used my heat gun on high heat just to get it warmed up so it spreads out a little bit easier and uh, pop some of those bubbles. And then I'm just going in with my hand and smoothing it out all over the canvas. You want to make sure you get the edges and the corners. Make sure everything's all nice and smooth. And you can feel too on the sides, you know, oh, I have a dry spot, I need to put some resin right there. That's why I like using my hands instead of a tool. You can really feel where you need to move the resin. And then I just take my hand and go vertically, up and down, back and forth, just to make sure every part of that canvas is good and covered in resin. And if you're looking for a new resin to try, I highly recommend the KS resin. Um, it's one of my favorite resins. It's got a 45 minute working time and it's only about $70 a gallon for the liquid art and free shipping in the US. So I'll link all that information down below too if you want to check out their resin. Here I'm just going in with my little ring light and checking for dust and debris, making sure I scoop that out with my little toothpick. And here I saw a little piece of dust. I was like, oh shoot, I gotta get that out of there. Took my toothpick, scooped it out. I'm gonna put it in my dust-free zone and I will show you what it looks like when it's all dry. And here it is, all nice and cured, all nice and dry. Look at that gold, that's the ink and gold. It's so beautiful. It's even prettier in person. The camera just doesn't do it justice. If you guys saw my last video, my red and gold 
uh, geode. You guys know that I'm into red and gold lately, so it's fitting that this piece is red and gold too. But it's got some fun little lacing in the petals. I think it turned out really pretty. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Off camera, I did some resin on the two little coasters, and I'll show you how those turned out too in just a second. But it's just the same process, you know, pour a little bit of resin on there, use your finger to smooth it around, make sure you get the edges. And the coasters, I use about one ounce of resin each. You don't need too much resin for the coasters. I found that one ounce is perfect to get just the right amount of coverage on the top and the sides. But check it out. Look at that shimmer from the gold. This one turned out really pretty. It's got some nice little petals on there. I think I like it this way, facing up. And this one turned out like a, a hummingbird. Do you see that abstract hummingbird right there? Turned out awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys are all having a great day and you guys all have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, leave me a like. Bye guys.